Ibn Abbas said, in every tribulation in dunya, there are three blessings hidden that you have to recognize. The first is that it could have been worse. The second is that it's in your dunya and not in your deen. And the third, in your worldly affairs and not in your religious affairs. And the third, it's in this world and not in the next. And you should be grateful for that. People now are complaining. Allah said, لِيَبْلُوَكُمْ أَيُّكُمْ أَحْسَنُ amala." He's going to try you to see who of you are the best in actions. وَلَا نُبْلُوَنَّكُمْ We're going to try you. لَتُبْلَوُنَّ فِي أَمْوَالِكُمْ وَأَنفُسِكُمْ You will be tried in your, in your wealth and in your lives. وَلَا تَسْمَعُونَ مِنَ الَّذِينَ أُوتُوا الْكِتَابِ مِنْ قَبْرِكُمْ وَالَّذِينَ أَشَرَكُوا أَذَنْ كَثِيرًا Allah told us, you're going to hear all these people telling how horrible you are and how terrible your religion is. Allah said that. What does He say? How's our response? What's our response? وَإِنْ تَصْبِرُوا And if you show patience, وَتَتَّقُوا And show piety, restraint, control yourselves. فَإِنَّ ذَلِكَ مِنْ عَزْمِ الْأُمُورِ Because that is at the essence of this matter. That is at the essence of this matter. This is our deed.